I'm Spencer. I'm Rosie. This is the Itch Network, and we're here to review Far Cry, Cry 5. 5 by Ubisoft. What God gives, no man can take away. <laughs> So, Far Cry 5, the fifth installment of the Far Cry series. You are playing as the deputy. And you the whole point of the whole game is that you're, the start of it is that you are going to apprehend a man called, known as the father. Uh, the father is this religious figure in Montana. I don't know yeah, what state. Yeah, yeah, Montana. He has made an uprising in his own cults using his own form of more like Christianity. Uh, is that what it's supposed to be mimicking Christianity or, or is there another cult? I mean, well, you got a couple of cults out there. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if I would call Christianity a cult. No, I wouldn't say that. I wasn't saying that. But I'm saying. But, but there are more. Yeah. Well, I mean, he makes a cult by. Um, by using like his own form of Christianity. Oh, okay. So, cause he, he recites Bible verses, it, like literally like, like Bible verses from the Bible and um, down to down to like the end of the game essentially. So they are actually from the Bible. Well, yeah. But it's his, it's his, his own it's, twist. It's his, his twist, own though. twist to gotcha, it. Gotcha, gotcha. And his own interpretation. Like he said like a lamb and like, you know, how he has the, so on his body, he literally has the seven sins, greed, Lust, sin, all that on him. Like tattooed? I think scarred into him. Like oh. cut into him. Wow. Because, yeah. But, so, beginning of the game. You're going in there, you're there to apprehend him. Of course, um, you go there, things aren't all right. You, you know, it's a game we're going to end in five minutes. I would honestly praise the game if it just went that smoothly. <laughs> but, uh, no, you go there, you try to apprehend him. He, he was... He's like, they can take me, but they knew, like, the f guidance, the, the, the Lord won't let them, because I've known this day was going to come, I'm, the prophecy is about to commence. So he goes with them, he's like, you know, everything's going smooth, like, oh yeah, great job. And then you get in the helicopter, the helicopter crashes, uh, they take your buddies, you're, you're there with uh, Sheriff, the, uh, other cop members, and they take them all split them apart and take them with them. And of course the father's okay. The person your uh, phone call in was in on it the entire time. Fuck them. <laughs> ah, and, jerks. And that's where the kind of game starts off. You you meet up with um, some of the townsfolk there and he let you know like, hey, like I, I know things are bad, but we are trying to fight back, but they need something to fight for. You got to give them something to fight for. So in traditional Far Cry fashion, they split up the main bad guys into like sections. You got uh, Jacob C, uh, Faith C, and I'm losing track, but he's another seed. Like, um, yeah, they're all like jump. a family. Yeah, they're literally a family. Yeah, it's, and this is a... You know, so I've never played a Far Cry game. I played the first Far Cry just, just an hour of it. Um, I only got it on the Xbox, the original Xbox, so I could build maps. Oh. And I, I liked that stuff at the time. Um, but yeah, I've never played a Far Cry game. So how does this, how does Far Cry usually work? And then how does this fit into that? Uh, so I actually don't know what the real meaning of Far, because the original Far Cry's is like, a far cry from what it was because it was made by a whole different studio with a whole different start story and direction with it far cry one and two it's only when three four and five came along where ubisoft took over yeah so, so so three on is where it became like a real bigger thing yes and three is famous and four to a lesser extent for the villains yes but 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 what's what's the deal with those games like what's and then, and then how does far cry five fit they don't they're not connected as far as like, no, but like huh. like how they are and like what what they're about. So, oh, okay, so sorry. <clears throat> so Far Cry typically is you're um, you're a lone survivor. You're like this one man wrecking crew, and it's typically a story of how an uh, average man can become this kind of uh, 
war machine, essentially. Like, you can be this kind of um, a far cry from what the norm is, I guess. Maybe that's what the meaning of it is. Because you, you, so three and four, you typically are going through this arc of yourself in which you, you, you're killing these monsters and they kind of let you know what you, you think you're the good guy, but look what you're doing. You're like murdering everybody. Like in four, it's the same way in, in, a, in a fashion, like you're doing all this and you're trying to save people, but spoiler for four, four is like, you're actually, you're actually just helping out a different monster gotcha. one way or another. Uh, Five is more, as far as the how it relates to other ones, you are this wrecking machine, like always. And but they consider they consider everyone who's not with uh, the father's cult to be sinners. You being the greatest one, and they let you know throughout the games, like this would be a lot simpler. Like the the lieutenants or what the other members are called. They're like, you, sh it'd be a lot simpler if you just killed yourself. Like, all this is happening because of you. But it's like, but even in, to your character in, in the player themselves, like, that's bull crap. You, you just want me to go on because you know I'm about to wreck everything around here. But, like, does it have that deep, deeper meaning or? It does. It, it, but this one kind of falls a little short. It still sticks to the theme of faith and prophecy. I'm not spoil the ending, but right, right. things happen. Um, but yeah, they always have like a deeper meaning of like they always have a deeper meaning. I think there's always something uh, deeper to it. Sorry. I and keep and how's the, how's the gameplay? So the gameplay of is stealth action. So they reward a lot of stealth in this game. A lot of it is you're going to bases, liberating them. You do it stealthily, you get a bonus of some kind. This game is money. And um, you're going around just like helping the resistance, building it up. The more you liberate, the more people find faith, the more upgrades you get. It's like, uh, that's kind of like a rinse and repeat kind of cycle. Yeah, you do missions for these people. You got like a big map and it's like, just go do this to all those locations yeah. on the map. Hey, you know, we have people here that are hostage. Can you go save them? Yeah, okay, it's easy. And then you go save them. They're happy for it, and you're, the resistance is building from that. And eventually, you piss, you make, in whichever section you're in, the, um, the story will start. In which they're like, there's like little blips, in which if you fill it up, the story, the next story plot is gonna happen, where they pull you, they let you know what's going on. Uh, there's gonna be a little bit of pros and cons to that, but um, in this game at least. But they pull you, they have some sort of hallucination, and you, um, you um, they take you over. So how does the, like, how is the gameplay for stealth? So the gameplay for stealth is you, you, you only have a crouch, it's a uh, field of vision. There's no, it's not really like the deepest, but you can attack it from any angle. So you see a base, you'd be like, all right, I can go from the front, go from the side, or, uh, just go in there and just start wrecking and shooting. And you can kill, if you can kill them before they notice you, you can still get like a stealth bonus because technically you killed all the people who would have seen you. Mm -hmm. There's also the binoculars in that game, which you can do recon, you can tag them and be like, boop, boop, boop. And you have a rock, an infinite amount of rocks in which you can toss and then it'll distract them, like, what's over there? And you can attack them while their back is turned. Gotcha. And so in the Far Cry series in general, there's a big emphasis on um, animals, like hunting animals. Mm -hmm. In the other games, you would do it for weapon upgrades and ammo upgrades and such. This game is a little bizarre because I thought maybe it was something to do with like maybe not having to kill animals in this game because it doesn't, the, um, you get all your upgrades from just perk points, but um, but you, so you don't have to kill animals, but the best way of making money is killing animals because you get so much money for the fur. So I end up killing more animals in this game than I have in any of the other games. I'm not sure if, I thought maybe it was like a, like a PETA thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> like they didn't yeah. want them killing animals, but maybe it's like, because I guess in those other games, you would be kind of done with killing animals immediately. And they wanted to keep that emphasis going. In this one, I'll have a look into that. So how's the 
how's the run and gun first person shooting? It feels good. Like um, you have a good emphasis on like weapon upgrades. So you can upgrade any weapon. The more you, the more resistance, the higher your resistance is with the and overall in the game, you can buy more upgrades and get to access more guns, bigger guns and such. Uh, it's first person, so good um, hard uh, auto aiming. Hard auto aiming? Yeah. So like you, I can have my auto aim or my high, my sensitivity up to really high, which I do. But as soon as you lock onto somebody, it goes. Oh, like, really? Yeah. It's but like Halo on steroids? Uh, man, I haven't played Halo in so long. I'm not even sure how the auto aiming is in that game anymore. How the aiming was, but. There's a little auto aiming on there. Yeah, it, well, it's console. You gotta have it. But yeah, in this game, it has it. I wonder what it's like on the PC. Yeah, that's actually a bigger question there. That sound could be, would be good. But yeah, if, if, uh, FPS in the game feels really good running game. And. <laughs> Because you can literally tag it from all angles, you can literally be parachuting and looking down and just be like <laughs> just tagging people from the sky. Nice. All right, so what about the graphics? This is easily the, the most beautiful the uh, Far Cry series has been. They, they always up the graphics, or the, the visuals of the game. And this one's no different. There's a guy, a lieutenant, who's literally been like burned alive. And he's like, his face is burned and the um his arm is burnt and you see the the artwork of them during the loading screen and then you see them in game it's like oh man that's that's really good like it still looks just like him and it looks like burns all of his body um like vi yeah it's visually just great looking how about the sound sounds good um honestly they sound like honestly the same far cry series just always like so it's is not the villain it, well voiced so yeah i'm sorry the game so this game story yeah i guess if we're going to talk about voice acting the game story is like because you're you're a silent protagonist which is going to be a con of mine um so the game is carried by these monologues that the uh npcs have to perform if that was bad this game wouldn't work at all but everyone's voice acting great and they're like the the motions they put on the characters faces like the animations is perfect or great like they'll, they'll talk to you and be like and they'll be like serious and they're like so you like you think you got you know what's going on there boy and like you actually feel some sort of like they can actually make you feel some sort of motion with their their acting voice acting interesting good so let's get to them the pros and the cons pros are the game are a, it's um, co-op. This is like, I guess the big emphasis on this is that this is gonna be the, one of the first co-op games that you can do. You know, you could do co-op in like Primal, Far Cry Primal. Local or online co-op? Oh. All online. If they don't do that for first person shooters much, local co-op, because it's like spreads the hardware too thin, right? Yeah, I guess so. I, I that's don't know why, That's why they said with the Halo 5, they wouldn't let you do local or at least like more than two or something yeah i thought you could because yeah. they because they said that they didn't want you to, the graphical fidelity to take a hit yeah i can see that because it seemed like it'd be so hard to do local co-op like that on one screen and have it loading all that at once mm -hmm. uh so it's going with pros pros you can like i said story mode with your buddies it's gonna have a con to as well um i it's like it's so much fun. Like the game's fun to play. The mechanically fun. You can tackle it any kind of way. Be a just a murdering machine, just jump in there, or be stealthy and do it like a Splinter Cell, and just sneak in there and snap people's heads all day. Uh, some of the cons I have is a uh, it's you got character customization, pro and con. But this is must be strictly for co-op because you're first person. This first first person game. The only thing you can see is your hands and your feet. So there's like no real reason for the character customization. And you're playing as a silent protagonist. Now the Far Cry series, it's typically a journey of these individuals. So three and four was a journey of those characters. Three was about like how this guy who was just there for uh, a vacation 
had to become, you know, got kidnapped, his friends got kidnapped, and he had to become this monster murder machine, and he's going through that the entire time. He's like, oh my god, what have I done? Like, I'm, I'm killing, I'm, I'm just this monster. Like, he tortures, like, tortures a guy, and he's like, what, like, what am I? In this game, like, people are literally, like, looking at you, shaking at you, and like, wait, what's going on? What's doing? And your guy's like, you're, you're like, you're just standing, because it's first person, so you don't say anything. Even though they're, they're asking direct questions, they'll be like, hey, if you, like, there's a side quest in there. It's like, if you're down for this, just say yes. All right, well, I guess you're good. Uh, I don't, you're not saying it. Really? Like, they don't even give you the option of saying yes or no? No, you do say yes, but because uh, your character doesn't talk, Mm. It's almost like like you're not getting that like I'm now this person that would say yes to it. Right. You're just like, oh, I'm saying yes because the quest is telling me to. Right. And so it's like, okay, well, that's cool, I guess. And uh, so that, that, and that's what kind of hurts it, I think, because I because I think about it because what the con the pro of it being a character customization is this what's supposed to be what supposed to replace the voice acting because you can always just give them a voice like just like a generic like one guy here one girl here you're gonna be a guy or girl um another con is is that the co-op so the, they introduced co-op in this game story co-op but only the host gets story progression while the side character or the other player can't does not get any story progression they get only character progression so i did a lot with one of my buddies but then I had to do it again on my own server. So I was like, oh, well, oh well. I get, Cause you still get all the perks and such. So I was essentially a demigod by the time I got back. They didn't know what hit them. But that's that's it for my pros and cons. Would, would I recommend this game? Yes, I would. For 60 bucks, it depends. If you have a friend that wants to play Far Cry with you, I would say 60 because then you because I've had so much fun doing, doing goofy stuff you can throw bats at people like literally just like yeah just toss them and I've been throwing like putting up clips of me just throwing bats or my friend throwing bats and it's been like the funniest time I had um but if you're gonna play this solo I think wait for a little bit the story is good the game's good but yeah wait for sale yeah wait for a sale all right wait for a sale folks I'm Spencer. And I'm Rosie. Thanks for watching. Bye.